Hello guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm playing Chaos Domination using Torque, uh, the SOG 9mm submachine gun, and the MOG 12 shotgun. Um, Chaos Domination is a relatively new mode. Um, it's basically domination, but a lot faster pace. The, the, the time it takes to capture these points is a lot quicker. Essentially, one person can, can solo these these capture points uh, without having a teammate there to help speed it up. I mean, teammates there would definitely help, but it's not necessarily needed because they, they fill up so quickly. Um, also, the points it takes to win the game, it has increased from 200 to 300, so the matches are a lot longer, um, which gives you the opportunity to, to rake in the kills, to really absolutely get up there uh, in your EKIA. I've seen people go up to 100 in EKIAs, with the right score streaks and the right weapons and the right teammates. Um, so, in terms of uh, you know game modes, I think this mode is definitely one of the higher uh, paced or faster paced uh, game modes. Um, it's also a lot longer because of the increase in uh, score required to win the game. Um, so I'm, I'm not too sure how much or how much better it is at gaining experience, but it's definitely uh, a mode where if you want to get those kills, if you want to get those challenges for your weapons, um, it's probably a good idea to play this one because of how much playing time you get out of it. The submachine gun SOG 9mm has been nerfed. Um, actually, it's it's on the PC, it's been pretty bad. A lot of people were using it. It's, it was definitely overpowered, um, but I've been hearing on the consoles that the SOG 9mm, especially the uh, the dual wield, wasn't as much of an issue. But on the PC, it definitely was an issue. We, people were getting melted. Um, it just it was just ridiculous how how strong that gun was. So they definitely nerfed it. They um, increased the hip fire spread and they uh, you know decreased or increased the damage fall off um, to a much shorter ranges to make it uh, uh, easier to counter or not so easy to to kill with. And also using the the Mog 12 shotgun, which is the the pump action shotgun. Um, and I, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I don't have all of the perks or all of the attachments for it. So right now it's at its its very base. It's at its weakest form, I guess. And I find like two shots takes way too long for for this gun to kill. You have you probably have to be like really up close uh, or get a headshot for this thing to kill in one shot. Um, but by the time it takes for you to take to shoot that second shot, you'll probably be dead already. Um, so uh, I'm waiting and, and I'm using it and I'm trying to get the other attachments to see how viable it is uh, with, the, with the proper attachments uh, to it. Um, but Treyarch has definitely nerfed the gun on the PC. They've uh, decreased the, the damage fall off again so you know people aren't sniping with shotguns. Um, which is a good thing because that's happened to me quite a bit. Um, but I, you know, out of the two shotguns, I, I personally prefer the SG-12. I find it easier to, to handle. Um, you know, it's, it, it's an easier run and gun weapon compared to the MOG. With the MOG, I mean, you know, in those tight situations, all you need is that one volley and, and, and you're good. So the class that I'm playing is uh, Torque, and I find Torque probably one of the best classes to to play in for domination because he has abilities that uh, basically narrow or, or change the path that your enemies have to take, and they basically linger on the map for the, you know a long duration or unless the enemy takes them out. Um, and it's good for you know these points because you can basically strategically lay them out in, in certain areas to funnel your enemies uh, where you want them to go. Um, the barricade especially because it does damage and you can put it in, in key areas where enemies you know don't think it would be in um, and that, that microwave radiation damage you know completely melts them away if they're not aware of it. Um, so I find Torque to be you know a, a really good class to, to play. Um, in terms of this game mode compared to the others, I think, you know, you can really rake in the kills here. Like I said previously, uh, if you if you're working on a challenge to, to getting you know you know hundreds of kills on a certain weapon or a weapon type or or whatever anything related to kills, I think this is the mode to do it in because it's such a long game mode, um, and the amount of kills you get doesn't really change or affect the game's.
duration. You can get 100 kills, you can get one kill. The game's still gonna, you know, take around 15 minutes or you know 10 minutes to to play. Um, so within that time, you have, you know, the opportunity to possibly rake in those kills. And you know, with domination, the score streaks are definitely much deadlier because. Um, you know, the objective is to capture certain points in the game, and, and that leaves yourself vulnerable um, to some of the score streaks that linger around, especially the, the attack choppers, the, um, the sentry, um, strike teams. It's, it's definitely difficult to capture when those things are around on the map. Um, and the slums map is probably one of my favorites. I think it's, it's such a it's an easy layout. There isn't too many uh, levels to it, so you know, people aren't. You know, sniping from windows or anything like that. It's it's very simple. It's a it's a small map, and that's the reason why I'm using the, the SOG 9 mm and the Mach 12. Um, but I'm also using it because I wanna I wanna level it up. I wanna you know get the the rest of the attachments and the operator mod for the SOG, and I wanna try it out and see how 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 good it is. I've seen so many people use it, and it just melts people away. I'm not too sure how well it will do with the nerf, but. Um, I want to try. I want to. I like the run and gun gameplay of Call of Duty, and it's it's super fun to do, especially when you know you get you know those insane insane moments where you just rush in and, and clear a room of guys. So as you can see, I think the game ended at 150, a score of 150. So once you get to 300, you basically win the game. Um, but in this match, I, I you know I don't get to 100, but I get uh, halfway there. I get 51. Um, and it's weird because the EKIA isn't exactly your kills. Uh, it's your kills plus your assists, so it might not be as accurate. Um, if you, if you want to find that out, you'd have to go to the leaderboards and, and actually check your actual kills. Um, but this way, people aren't too fixated on, on their kill to death ratio, then they're more fixated on the objectives or helping teammates, so that's, that's a good thing. You don't get people camping around or anything like that. Once I unlock the the, the SG12, I'd probably use, start using that. I just prestige, so you know, a bunch of things are still locked um, behind your level. So, yeah, we we completely destroyed these guys. Yeah, my teammates are were pretty good in this match, um, and yeah, people were, people on the other team were leaving. Um, and yeah, when this happens to you, I mean, I can't blame them. You know, they don't want to play a losing match. But I do know once you leave, oh. God, did you see that? One thing about the the launcher, it's only a one hit kill if you get a direct hit. So that guy got a direct hit, and actually I get I get hit by that guy a couple of times in in the match. Uh, I don't know if he's playing the game, you know, rocket launcher only or something. Um, but yeah, he he definitely takes me out a couple of times. Anyways, that's all I gotta say for now. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Please like and subscribe and take it easy.
good effect.